Atlantic Beach Country Club is a model example of how a struggling golf course reinvented itself into a vibrant community and the centerpiece of a city in need of a place where everyone could gather, families and people of all ages. There's an issue with many golf clubs going down in value because they lose, they're losing play. What is the solution for how they can renovate themselves? This model is a solution. The story of Atlantic Beach Country Club begins where the Selva Marina Country Club ends, a traditional suburban country club in Atlantic Beach, Florida, in operation for more than 50 years. It, it was a fantastic club for a long time, uh, and, and there were some historic golf moments there, the 18th hole. Uh, where Jack Nicholas made his only double eagle on tour. 2000 was the height of the club with more than a thousand members. But with all the success, little was reinvested back into the club and it started to deteriorate. The club's board tried to come up with a plan to save it. What they were going to do was sell 20 acres out of our 170 acres and raise enough money to redo the golf course and redo the clubhouse. Unfortunately, 2008 happened where the economy essentially stopped for real estate development in Florida and for that matter most of the country. The club had already put in millions to the redevelopment when the lender cut off funding. So at that point we had three and a half million dollars in debt, a club that suffered from deferred maintenance and membership had been cut in half. They had a choice to refinance, foreclose, or sell. We got involved uh, when the club was ready to and reached the decision that they needed to sell, uh, and that was their best option to save the club. The club sold a parcel of the land to housing developer Atlantic Beach Partners. They developed a single-family residential neighborhood that required homeowners to also become a member of the club. Atlantic Beach Partners rebuilt the entire facility and renamed it Atlantic Beach Country Club. It was important to us uh, and to the, the club that we make it uh, basically an extension of the Atlantic Beach neighborhood and community. But we also wanted to be clear that we that this was a new start, a fresh start. With capital from the land acquisition to Atlantic Beach Partners and revenue from the mandated membership from homeowners, Selva Marina Country Club funded the amenities package and contributed a new larger clubhouse that went from 5,000 square feet to 16,000 during development. The city also staked a claim in the project, cutting a deal with the club for reclaimed wastewater. We've got a pond on the property that holds 4 million gallons of treated water that was formerly being dumped in the intercoastal. They've agreed that as long as we deed restricted 110 acres, so essentially the golf course, we would never pay more than $24,000 a year. The homes on the property are a unique blend of different styles of architecture, details, and landscaping, but all with the same prime location. It is very unique in the fact that the way that it was designed, all the home sites have incredible views. There's um, the, a different developer and multiple builders, and we're all working together um, with all of our different designs and ideas to come together and develop what's going to be at the end, you know, a very um, unique looking community. After the facility was developed, Atlantic Beach Partners turned back over the golf course and clubhouse to the country club. Back in charge as a new entity, they were able to save the club and rebrand and rejuvenate it. Atlantic Beach Country Club now includes 178 homes, an 18-hole championship golf course, a clubhouse that quadrupled in size, swim, fitness, tennis courts, a golf pro shop, and cart barn. Old amenity was the golf course. Golf was king. It's not anymore. We need more family-oriented stuff. Atlantic Beach Country Club is a destination for the whole family, vibrant with activity. When we can come in and do a neighborhood like this, and generate capital, and generate revenue, and generate people, vibrancy, the developer and the club can be, now have something to work with, people and money, and they can redo the amenity package so that it's more satisfying of the needs now. It's the only private club around here right now, and, and it was definitely needed. People wanted that, that social community, the communal pieces to it. Less than two years after opening, all but two homes are sold, membership is capped, and the club is the talk of Jacksonville.